Apes? Well, as it turns out, they're pretty big. We're actually pretty lanky for apes, but ones that are half our size are capable of things that I can't really mention if I want to stay monetized. Now imagine if you had one that was 10 feet tall when it stood upright. And we're talking about an animal that I actually mentioned last Halloween when I talked about the possibility of a Bigfoot. So I thought, why not go into more detail about Gigantopithecus. Findings of this ape were first made back in 1935 by anthropologist Ralph von Koenigswald when he happened across some teeth in a Chinese drugstore that were selling them as dragon bones for traditional Chinese medicine, eventually surmising that they had come from South China. Unfortunately, he couldn't publish and describe these specimens due to being interned by Japanese forces during World War II until in 1952 when he named it Gigantopithecus black eye. Since then, more remains have been found across southern China, mostly teeth and dentary bones. So we know this was a big ass ape, but what exactly was the appearance of Yo Mama? What exactly was the appearance of Gigantopithecus? Well, much like Megalodon, teeth are really not a huge amount to go on. By the looks of it, Gigantopithecus was a member of the Pongenae, a group whose only living member is the orangutan, suggesting that this ape may have looked like a giant version of these. As to how big, again, teeth are not a lot to go on. But the current estimates are anywhere between 2.7 to 3.7 meters, or 9 to 12 feet tall, and between 200 to 300 kilograms, or 440 to 660 pounds. That height was if the animal stood fully upright though, when it's likely that it was mostly a quadrupedal animal like most other rapes. The formations that Gigantopithecus were found in were 2 million to 200,000 years old, showing us subtropical evergreen broadleaf forests or tropical rainforests, with carbon isotope analyses suggesting that this ape inhabited the enclosed canopy forests, eating a wide range of flora, from leaves to a variety of fruits to seeds to barks and twigs. A modern analogue that has been repeatedly compared to Gigantopithecus's habitat is Dingu Mountain, the other animals that lived here alongside Gigantopithecus include its relative, the now extinct Chinese orangutan, gonfathirs, which are the strange mouthed proboscideans, as well as stegodon, calicothirs like Hesperotherium, pigs like Hippopotamodon, deer, bovids, tapirs, and pandas. Carnivores of this region include dolls and sabre toothed cats like Meganterion. As for why it got so big, well, it's really tough to say. Food was clearly in abundance for Gigantopithecus, and there wasn't really anything that hunted the fully grown adults, so their growth could continue unregulated. Whatever the reason, what does seem likely is that it was at least partly the reason for Gigantopithecus's extinction. Remember, when you are this big, you need a lot of calories. Around 215,000 years ago, environmental shifts saw the increase in winter and summer monsoon intensities and, in turn, reduction of these vast dense forests in favour of open grasslands, meaning that the food also changed. Now the smaller Chinese orangutan not only required less food, but it was also able to change its niche and preferred food type quick enough to keep up with these changes. Gigantopithecus, on the other hand, did not. This giant ape couldn't find enough of its preferred food to sustain itself, which wasn't helped by the fact that two other apes were spreading thanks to their adaptability, the Chinese orangutan and Homo erectus. But like I said in my Halloween video, not everyone actually believes that this giant ape went extinct. At least, not on a genus level. Gigantopithecus has been cited as the genus that is behind the various large ape cryptids such as the Tibetan Yeti or Sasquatch. One of the more famous cryptozoologists to perpetuate this idea was Grover Krantz, who actually proposed the new binomial name for Bigfoot, being Gigantopithecus canadensis. But this was dismissed by scientists for obvious reasons, and even by cryptid hunters, saying that he would readily accept clearly false evidence. So as ever, there are some open questions about this extinct animal. Namely, what was the reason for its ginormous size? Well, as usual, I want to hear from you guys about what you think the reason is, and I will have fun discussing it with you in the comments down below until I catch you guys next time.